only deal from the Auditor General's process. I had obtained advice on an impact of the Auditor General's process on ongoing negotiations. That advice did at one point address a situation should an agreement already be signed. I'm therefore taking this first opportunity to correct my answer in the House. The House now comes to questions for oral answer, and the first question stands in the name of Todd McClay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Finance, how is the government's economic programme helping New Zealand manage through current global uncertainty? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, the government continues to focus on its longer-term programme for increasing uh, New Zealand's growth prospects by continuing investment in new infrastructure, increasing investment in science and innovation, improving incentives to get New Zealanders out of welfare and back into work, and increasing public, public sector productivity and results. Uh, in addition, the government is managing financial uncertainty by introducing, uh, working with the Reserve Bank to introduce stronger requirements on banks uh, and assisting those banks in uh, accumulating cash reserves, pre-funding debt, uh, to protect themselves against any interruption of access to international borrowing. Todd McClay. Supplementary, what are the anticipated effects of recent elections in Greece for New Zealand? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, no, none, no particular effects directly. Uh, the election in Greece is just one of any number of factors that are creating uncertainty in the global environment. It does appear there has been a positive reaction to uh, the election result in Greece, nevertheless. They have uh, significant, uh, very deep-seated problems, and it's not yet clear uh, that those problems will be able to be resolved. Uh, New Zealand continues to focus on our own ability to grow our own economy, uh, bearing in mind that each week there could well be a different version of the problems in Europe and our media, uh, but Europe make up only about 20 per cent of our trade. Todd McClay. Supplementary. What reports have you recently received on the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, there's been a number of reports that reflect uh, the degree of uncertainty that we all face, both our government, our businesses and our trading partners. Uh, the IMF gave a report recently which uh, suggested that the government had the balance about right between supporting the economy through difficult times and getting back to surplus. There have been a range of other reports of forecasters trying to uh, work out what is going to happen over the next few years, and those a range of forecasts reflect the high degree of uncertainty that we're all dealing with. The Honourable David Parker. If the government's economic programme is working, why are New Zealand's exports dropping and wages growing more slowly than in most economies outside of Europe? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the government has set out to uh, rebalance the economy away from an economy driven by excessive debt, excessive consumption uh, and, and high levels of government expenditure towards a focus on inve savings, investment, exports and work. Uh, because, because of the global uncertainty, uh, there are, th it has been difficult to make as much progress as we would all want. However, we remain focused on more jobs and higher incomes for New Zealanders, whatever the world throws at us. Supplementary. The Honourable David Parker. If reducing debt is his government's answer to global uncertainty, why is it that New Zealand's net international liabilities are set to grow by $70 billion between 2011 and 2016? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I think it's, a po it's positive that all New Zealanders understand the need to reduce debt, and New Zealand households are well ahead of the New Zealand Government in that respect. Uh, household debt has started to drop a couple of years ago and continues to drop. Uh, currently, the Government debt is still rising rapidly uh, as we, because we're running deficits. Uh, by 2014-15, we would uh, hope that we're able to stop the increase in Government debt. Uh, with respect to the external liabilities, uh, that is part of the long-running challenge for New Zealand to rebalance its economy to earning a living, earning it before we spend it, and not borrowing uh, to make up for uh, less income than our spending. It's not working. Todd McClay. 
Mentri, uh, what, what effect will events in Europe have on the government's plan to return to surplus by 2014-15? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the government has committed to a return to surplus in 2014-15 and will not let this target slip lightly. We're not prepared to, uh, to cause long-term damage to the economy uh, simply for the purpose of achieving that target if, if it happens that global events mean that our revenue drops sharply. However, it is very difficult to predict not only what will happen in Europe, but what uh, would be the effects of any particular event in Europe. That's why we're focusing on what we can control, which is our own productivity, our own competitiveness, uh, our own government spending, and in all those respects, uh, we're making moderate progress. Question number two, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, is it